I have seen many AI writing assistants, but this one is by far the best I've ever tried. It lets you upload your notes so the AI can learn your writing style and everything you wrote in your notes. That means you can ask it about anything you've read or written before, and even have it write something for you in your own style. If you're sick of generic content that AI generates or want to have a second brain that you can talk to, keep on watching. So you can think of Text Cortex as an AI writing assistant, but I think it's much more than that. It has lots of unique features that help you write better, but also study and manage information. I've been using it for only a few months now, but it's been incredibly helpful. So I'm happy that they reached out to me to make this video. It has a lot of features that I want to talk about, but today I want to focus on one core feature that makes it so useful and powerful. That is the knowledge base. Imagine being able to feed an AI with your thoughts, ideas, and the learning and then have a conversation with it as if you're talking to a version of yourself that remembers everything you've ever written or read. That's the essence of this feature. It's not just an AI writing assistant. It's a companion that understands you and helps you make sense of the information you consume and produce. It's like having a personal researcher and a writer who knows your style and preferences ready to assist you at any time. Now, uh, let me walk you through how this works and uh, how I've been using it so far and how you can benefit from it too. So let's just jump right into it. The core concept of the knowledge base is that you can train the AI using your data, which could include URLs, PDF files, or even your personal notes. Once you uploaded your data, Text Cortex uses this to provide you with personalized suggestions and uh, responses. Uh, this customization is what sets Text Cortex apart from other AI tools. It's not just giving you generic responses, it's providing answers that are tailored to you and your preferences. Okay, so how does this work in practice? Well, it's simple. Let's say you've been researching and taking notes on a specific topic, like effective communication skills. Now you need to recall what you've learned or written about this topic. Normally, you'd have to scroll through your notes manually, which could be time consuming and uh, inefficient. But with Text Cortex, you can simply set its data source to your notes and ask the AI about it and then it scans through your notes and provides you with a summary of the relevant information from your notes, complete with references. In case you want to see the source of the information, you can just click on one of the references and go to the page or note where it was originally found. But of course, you can set the data source to internet so AI can find answers from the web. This is useful when your notes don't contain any information about the topic. If you want it to be more specific, you can set it to Wikipedia, Reddit, YouTube, and so on. And this is really useful for people who watch YouTube videos to learn new things. It can save you from having to go through multiple videos to find the information you need. Anyway, creating a knowledge base is super easy. On your Text Cortex dashboard, you find a dedicated page for the knowledge base. Here, you can make a new one by clicking on Create Your Knowledge Base. You can start feeding the AI with the data you want it to remember. Now, let's talk about the kind of data you can feed the AI. If you want to build a second brain you can talk to, your notes are a great starting point. To upload your notes, you need to export them as Markdown, PDF, or CSV file from your note-taking app first. Most note apps support Markdown export, so here I'm going to use Markdown as an example. Once your export completed, you need to convert them to PDF using any Markdown to PDF converter. Um, there are a few options, but I used PDF Creator Online. It's a free tool, but you can convert only 200 files at once. So if you have a lot of notes, you may need to do it a few times. After converting your notes, upload the PDFs to the knowledge base. It's a simple process that allows the AI to understand and learn from your notes. But that's not all. You can also upload your reading highlights from Readwise. All you have to do is to export your highlights as CSV file, then upload it to your knowledge base. You can do it in less than five minutes. After training the AI, you can now start talking to it. You can open Text Cortex from any website with a keyboard shortcut. Whenever I need to find some information, I can just open it and uh, set the data source to my notes and ask questions. It's pretty useful, especially when I'm writing a blog post or an article. I can even have it write the whole thing based on my notes, which saves a huge amount of time. The result is not generic, like what AI usually produces. So this is so far my most favorite way of using Text Cortex. Apart from your personal notes, you can also upload a document like your company's brand guidelines, a wiki, or any other reference materials you frequently use. This could be a big time saver for your workflow. If you're a professional navigating through piles of documents to 
find the right information can be time consuming, but Text Cortex can handle that job for you by uploading these documents to your knowledge base. You can simply ask the AI any question related to that document and it will provide you with the answer. It's like having a personal assistant who knows all the nitty gritty details of your documents. But if you're a student or academic, Text Cortex can be a great assistant to your study or research process. You can create a knowledge base for your school or university, upload your lecture slides, notes, academic papers, and it will help you make sense of all this information. You could even ask the AI to create a list of potential questions to help you prepare for exams. This feature essentially transforms Text Cortex into a study buddy who's not just smart but also remembers everything. It can take a lot of the stress out of studying and researching, making the whole process a little bit more enjoyable and also efficient. If you like, you can create more than one knowledge base. This allows you to categorize your data based on different subjects or topics. For instance, you can have a separate knowledge base for each of your courses if you're a student. If you're a professional, you can have different knowledge bases for different projects or departments. And this way you can keep your data organized and easy to access, making your work a little bit easier. Speaking of research, there is another way to use Text Cortex for it. When starting a new research project, you can create a new knowledge base specifically for that topic. For instance, if you're writing a blog post about atomic note taking methods, you can conduct a simple Google search and copy the URLs from relevant articles, then give the URLs as data sources. Once your knowledge base is populated with the necessary URLs, you can then ask the AI to provide a summary of the information contained within those pages. It will analyze the content, extract the important information, and give you a summary. This feature allows you to bypass the time-consuming process of manually reading through each article, and instead, you can have an overview of the most important points. But sometimes your research might be focused on a single article or specific website. In these instances, you have the flexibility to use this page or this domain as a source in the chat. This allows the AI to draw information from that specific source and provides you with a pretty detailed and specific summary of the content. Whether you're doing extensive research across various sources or deep diving into a single source, its functionality integrates seamlessly into your research process, simplifying the task and saving you lots of time. So as you can see, the knowledge base is not just a feature, it's a powerful tool that can transform how you work, study and uh, conduct your research. It's your personal assistant, your study buddy and your research partner all rolled into one. But it has many other useful functions, so give it a try to see them all. You can download it from the link in the description or just scan the QR code on the screen. I think it's a sort of next level AI assistant that can help you in many areas of your life, not just for writing, but also for studying and researching, also remembering things. So I highly recommend it. Uh, thanks for watching everyone. And uh, if you liked it, please leave a like and a subscribe and uh, see you in the next one. Bye.